A hugely important part of conservation in the Sabi Sands is the local villages outside and the interaction that conservation has with the local people. Five million people living on the western borders of the Kruger National Park. We're on our way up to meet the Utah Scout Troop, a group of youngsters who have an environmental bent. Uh, they're enthusiastic about the wild and we hope through Safari Live to introduce them to the animals of the Sabi Sands. Utah and Dixie Scout Troops came through here. They were doing their hiking badge. They walked six kilometers to get here and they saw some impala and buffalo through the fence in the Manjileti on the way here. Tomorrow they're going to watch the live safari stream and hopefully they're going to interact with us by asking us questions about the wildlife that we see. <laughs> Utah community will starting to experience a good behavior change from the children because there are 10 laws that scouts are required to live by and there's things that they're not allowed to do as scouts. So actually they'll be good role models to the younger ones in Utah. If I got camera la, me and the driver la, David at some kwala one born ali, it is a camera, what's one? We saw a need because we had a challenge of uh, teenage pregnancy. So we saw Scouts to be the best program to use to our youth in Utah. The projects that they are doing are more about wildlife, adventure. This part of academic, social and life coping skills. Today they hiked six kilometers from Utah Youth Center to here. They've been observing the nature along the way. It helped them to learn more about nature. Not every child gets this opportunity, but scouts give them the opportunity to learn more about their surrounding area. We thought it would be a really wonderful idea to allow the children to interact. Now that they'd met James and actually seen the vehicle that he drives around Juma on, um, it would be a, a cool idea that we could show them how to interact um, and do a, a proper school drive or a school session with, with James the following day. A lot of the focus was being able to allow the children to have interaction with, with the presenters and, and be able to ask their own questions. It's important that they feel engaged so they're not just watching another TV film, they, they realise that it's live and their questions are being answered. How do elephants defend themselves from carnivores? From them joining the program, will be the youngsters who will not be going to nightclubs, who won't be stealing, who will be listening to their te uh, teachers and parents, and hopefully passing and getting distinctions and getting admission in university.